contest. And Dunn with a second. They both have possession, and it's driven on by Tom Dunn, and they've scored. And out of nowhere, Bath. Really lovely quick ball for Bath. This is done. What a score from Bath. About 14, 15 was when I um, took the jump to one sport. That rugby was a sport that I actually really enjoyed and I kind of excelled at. So, coming to the rugby, you get about an hour before, have a laugh with the lads, do like a longer kind of warm up. Then, afterwards, it's your shirt and tie, sausage and chips, and your orange juice and diet coke. So, I was a loose head my whole time here at Chippenham and all the way through. And then, when I became 19, I probably wasn't big enough for the professional game as a loose head. So uh, it was Toby Booth and Neil Hatley who said to me, you're not going to be a prop basically. So I played in the A-League at six, and then I played a few games at hooker. It was a, a quite a quick transition at the start. Then it probably took two or three years of uh, pretty consistent work of Toby Booth and Neil Hatley to hone my set-piece skills at hooker to get me to a half-decent standard. But it's Tom Dunn who runs out to mark what is his 100th appearance for the club. Speaking before this match, he said the first 50 had taken quite a long time to accumulate. The second 50 have rushed by. Massive afternoon for him and his family. And lovely to see him. Um, unfortunately, when I was 18, I wasn't signed full-time. And that's when Chittenham come back into my life again and stood up. And I played here for two years, between 17 and 19. And whilst I wasn't full-time at Bath, I'd been nice training part-time and that then gave me the foot up again to get back into the Bath Rugby full-time academy. I always do my best for like, the badge on your shirt. Uh, this is probably my, my home team, but um, being born in Bath, brought up in Bath, Bath being the biggest professional club around here, uh, playing for Bath Rugby means a lot to me as well. I'm very lucky to do what I do, and I, I like to preach the fact that you haven't got to be talented to work hard, and you haven't got to be super talented to, to play the top of rugby. If you um, find one aspect of the game you can you can do and you can work hard at that aspect and you can make it pretty far. Tom Dunn, the man who doesn't shy from the tackle, over a hundred tackles made this Premiership season so far. Dunn has it! Ripped away by the Centurion Tom Dunn. The impact of grassroots rugby is massive on individuals and communities. Um, for certain individuals it gives them an identity and it gives them a passion and it gives them somewhere to vent and somewhere to express themselves. And I think for a community side of things, it's the only place you get to play with your friends. In life when you grow up, you grow up with these kids playing like age group rugby with them and then you get that time to come back and almost relive that and play on Saturdays with them. So when I bump into them at the clubhouse on a Sunday or a Saturday now, I still remember those days I played with them and I grew up with them. At a grassroots level, the most important thing is to enjoy it. And I think if you enjoy it, you'll do it more. So whether it is your passing, your kicking, your throwing, your scrummaging, if you've got a real passion for scrummaging, you'll watch a thousand hours of scrums and you'll practice your scrum setups every night. And therefore, you will become good or competent at, at that skill. So whether it be kicking, scrummaging or anything, if you enjoy it and have a passion for it, you'll then chase it and that will lead you to where you need to be.